Well, some more eBay junk today. Here's a Samsung LCD monitor, $24.94. Sync Master. And uh, they said it doesn't work properly, so I'm hoping the screen's not broke because I want to take it apart and get it going. This is a one of the nicer monitors, actually. Well, the screen doesn't look cracked, but there's something rattling around inside that sounds like a screw. <coughs> and uh, <clears throat> I do have all the, the stand and everything else with it. It was actually in the original packaging and everything, so that's kind of nice. It was safe in shipping that way. But uh, let me pull the back off and find out what's loose in there, and more importantly, find out what's wrong with it. So far this looks a lot like the 22 inch Samsung that I fixed sometime, I think it was back in January. It even has that same rattly metal cover. And I think, uh, speaking of rattle, I think this standoff here is inside this cage rattling around. Probably what I heard. I don't know how it would have got in there, but I'll find out in a second. I didn't have too much trouble getting the uh, back cover off this one. You know, it snaps all in place, but using my little plastic prying tools I was able to get the whole thing off without putting dents and gouges in the plastic that you would normally uh, do to the plastic if you use a flat blade screwdriver you should always try to use something that's softer than whatever you're prying on and uh, of course it, it screws the end of the tool up pretty bad after a while but that's very cheap compared to replacing the bezel of the monitor and it looks much nicer that way instead of having all these uh, these dents from using a screwdriver you can't even really tell it's been taken apart but anyway let me pull this cage off and see if it's got those same bad capacitors that I always find in the Samsung's from what I can tell already it looks identical to that 22 inch so it's probably gonna be the same set of bad capacitors again and uh, there was that standoff inside the cage there so that's all that rattle was just like I thought let me pull this thing out and uh, move on with the repair. I'm surprised to see that none of these caps are bulging. Let's see, what are these? They're those same crappy Sanwa capacitors though. Let me do an ESR check and uh, also check a few things with my meter and make sure everything is good. Probably going to end up having some weird problem wrong with this monitor, wouldn't know in my luck. As long as the LCD panel's not cracked, I don't really care. I can fix anything else. I probably should have tested this thing before I took it apart. But uh, let me see what it does here when I turn on the main power. Ooh. Sounds like another arcing backlight, just like that Hans G. But it's on. Huh. Wow. I got another broken uh, CFL connection in there. This ought to be fun. Boy, listen to that thing burn. It does have a nice picture though while it's on. So let me see if I can take care of this without breaking the panel. Speaking of the Hans G, uh, this is another one that's got the exact same style metal cover and the same LVDS connector. I'm starting to wonder if that Hans G panel is a rebadged AU Optronics panel. Because it's got the same problem, same design, same metal bezel. So I got a feeling I'm in for some real crap fixing this backlight. Well, damn it, the screen fell out again. Let's see if I can do this again just like before but maybe a little better this time <clears throat> there's the uh, backlight diffuser and uh, here we go well I got the screen out of harm's way for now but I'm afraid that the self adhesive ribbon cables are going to come off that board I, I uh, had slipped a few times and they got pulled on a little bit but I think amazingly it's still not cracked uh, here's the uh, backlight and diffuser assembly and one of the lenses and you can see there the broken wire off the CFL and now to try to figure out how to get this backlight assembly off the diffuser it's not not attached like the last one was well I took that big plastic diffuser and those two lenses out 
and uh, can't really see but there's the CFL tubes right there and uh, boy <laughs> just held in by that rubber end block that's, that's going to be really hard to try to solder without shattering these little tubes got to give it a shot though already tore it apart this far <laughs> This is not going to be fun. It's pretty burnt. I don't know if I can even get some fresh metal on there to solder that wire back on. And uh, it's probably going to short to the other one even if I do. Hmm. I can't take the CFL out of the assembly because the other wires go back behind that metal plate. I'm not sure what to do. I guess I gotta keep digging out the burnt stuff first, see if I can expose some fresh metal on that end of that CFL. Figures I just barely get one attached and the other one breaks off. And the first one is just, just barely hanging on there. The end of that CFL is so oxidized and burned and and uh, the wire too. And I had to use separate flux and a lot of scraping and tinning and retinning and it just would not take solder but I got the white one on there now I'm getting ready to try to get the pink one back on and then uh, if I can get silicone back in there without breaking the wires back off I might be good to go I guess we'll see well after a long nightmare of uh, reattaching those stupid cables over and over the solder kept breaking off the CFL and I had to keep digging the caulk back out while it was still wet and starting all over again and had to go through the same crap I did with that Hans G only 10 times worse but check this out no uh, no pieces of dirt behind the screen go ahead and put some graphics up and see what the color looks like and the uh, picture on this thing is pretty sweet considering all the crap it just went through really uh, hope it holds up hope it doesn't start arcing again because this is really going to be nice to have on my other computer down here wish I could have got more footage of uh, putting everything back together but it was just it was just too much and I, was, I had other things going on so didn't get a chance to go into detail on this one but it's all back together and uh, let's hope it keeps on working